problem is that I don't want them to see the Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi. Good Hi, good evening. How are you tonight? Today is Friday. <laughs> How do you feel? Finally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel tonight? Do you feel okay? I feel very. Uh, happy because now it's finished on the weekend all oh, right uh, finish <laughs> yeah. of the week okay of the yeah. week of yes the week. The week. all right mm -hmm. tomorrow i work only four hours four hours okay yeah good and then mm -hmm. i will dress oh good good yes. mm -hmm. do you have any plans to enjoy your free time Yes, uh, I think I will go out with my family. Oh, good, good. Yes. Nice. And then for tonight or for night, I will study English. Ah, okay, on Saturday. <laughs> yes, on Saturday <laughs> or or Sunday. Okay, yeah. All right, good, good. Yeah, I um I want to encourage you guys because uh, this is only with practice, okay, that you are going to master all of the content of this module and any other module, right? Only with practice. Um, I posted uh, some activities that you may practice on the platform. I've seen that... Uh, none of you have participated in the first four. So I invite you to uh, participate in the discussions that I posted. They are extra practice, okay? They are extra practice of listening and writing, reading, okay? So you may go to the platform and participate in the discussions. Okay, guys, welcome everybody to your class number 20. Yeah, number 20. So next Monday, we'll be starting, we will be starting um, the unit four. Yeah, and we finish next week, this course. Okay, is it everybody ready to start a class? Yes. Everybody ready? Yes, teacher. Everybody say, yes, teacher. We are. It says, yes, teacher. We are ready. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, well, let's start that. Let's get started. I will call the roll. It will be the first thing that I'm going to do, all right? So please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when you hear your name, you say present. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martinez. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martinez. Present. Okay. 
Carlos eh, Eduardo Torres Durán. Carlos Ernesto Hernández de Peda. Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Great. Eh, Josman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Okay. Karen Lizette Sánchez Castro. Thank you, Karen. Nancy Margarita Morán Morán. Present. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present. Okay. Um, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Ok. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Present. Good. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. José Miguel Torres Hernández. Present. Ok. Thank you very much, people. So now we're going to start uh, uh, with our custom review. Because we, on Friday, we are accustomed to uh, have this unit review. Remember that we started at the unit three and now we have just one last topic to see and uh, you will um, present your projects, okay? Your short presentations. Um, the last topic was about analyzing the costs of production. When you analyze costs of production, you have some vocabulary to understand and some words that are important. Uh, do you know what does cost mean? What does cost mean? The cost is the average of money to pay for something okay. or you have to pay for something all right good is the amount of money right the amount of money uh that you pay for the process of production in this case because we are talking about the costs of production remember that there are a lot of uh costs that we have to analyze and then to calculate the price of the product, right? Because if you don't analyze your costs of production of a logistics or transportation, whatever you want to call that, and, and um, all other costs related to take this product to the place where it's going to be sold, uh, then uh, maybe you are not going to be able to calculate accurately the price of your product. And if you don't calculate the price of your product, actually you are not going to have any profit, right? So allow me to start with the discussion because the discussion for today, I, uh, I prepare these three questions, but uh, it's really important for us to remember some vocabulary first. Uh, do you remember what is a prototype? What is a prototype? Yeah. 
what is a prototype? Do you remember what a prototype is? It's like a model about uh, an about a product is 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 it's like a new product design design mm -hmm. design okay um, I'll need that. okay good good and uh just as a manner of feedback and uh let me just see this i'm sorry i'm sorry i shared something that i shouldn't all right <clears throat> going to check, take just this as a manner of feedback, okay? And let's check true or false about prototype and prototyping statements. Remember that we said a slight difference between prototype and prototyping, but uh, what do you think? And let's discuss this. Prototype and prototyping have the same meaning. Is that true or is that false? Can you explain something about it? I don't know, but uh, grammatically. Mm -hmm. Grammatically? Uh -huh. if, it, if it is grammatically, prototype is an adjective, uh, prototyping is a verb. A verb. Mm, okay. Well, actually, I, def I defer. Okay. I defer. Why? Because prototype, I think it's a noun, it's a prototype, right? A prototype, it's an object, it's like a noun. Uh, it's not exactly an adjective, right? But prototyping becomes a noun too when you refer to the process of making this instead of the action of making the prototype, right? So maybe both are nouns, but in a different slight meaning, okay? And a very slight difference, right? I think that prototype and prototyping have the same meaning, they have the same meaning when they refer to the action. What do you think about? No. Uh-huh. A ver, Nelson, what do you think? Number one, is it true or is it false? Uh, false? Uh, because uh, you say pro prototyping is an action that an action when we make a prototype okay well the process of making it right yes, so it's the process the, well, it actually is the name of the process of making so uh, okay Estamos discutiendo. This is the debate. Okay? Maybe those terms are linked, links uh, each one. One to the other. Yes. And but what I, way? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's listen. Okay. Okay. Let's listen to Jose Miguel. Jose Miguel, what do you think? Is prototype and prototyping uh, the same thing? Uh, I think, well, I guess uh, the same meaning. But and how do you how you explain before when you say prototype? I imagine uh, the first product, the first uh, object uh, that 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 object you create to mm -hmm. see the performance of the materials, like uh, saying the number four. 
Oh, but right. when you talk about prototyping, it's not the object, it's the, the first process to production this, uh, this product. It's the first time you uh, recreate the future process you uh, will establish for a, a mass, massive pro, uh, production. Okay, That's then, so prototype and prototyping don't have yeah. the same meaning. Jose Miguel. Okay, good. Edwin, okay. what do you think? I think the same. Uh, the same meaning. That sense, yes, because the prototyping is the product to test about the how we become the raw material, and the prototyping is the process. No, right, good, okay. So they don't have the same meaning, or do they have the same meaning? They don't, Edwin, they or don't. they do? Okay, a ver, Hosman, what do you think? Um, this is true. Is because it true? The, yeah, because the prototype, I have the, the need, the, um, the, the idea for elaboration the products is necessary um, uh, um, start process for the elaboration of the product. Okay. And what about prototype? If that and is the, prototyping? Yeah. Yeah, because the the is idea and, and elaboration the 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 product is necessary the prototype. Okay, good. So prototype and prototyping, you say they have the same meaning. Yeah. Okay, well, um, a ver, alguien que tenga otra opinión? Is there anyone with a different opinion? In my opinion, prototype is mm, Exactly, prototype and prototype prototyping is a uh, is like create a new is a like production a prototype. Okay, okay. So like so, uh -huh. so for me is a combination prototype and prototype prototyping. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, but talking about the words, talking about the words meaning, I think prototype, as Jose Miguel said, could be taken as an object, right? Or the first model, as you said before. And prototyping is the process of making the prototype, okay? Of making the prototype. It's not exactly the action of making it, but the process of making it. So I think it's false, right? I think this is what do you think? Okay. Uh -huh. So I think this is false, guys. I think, in my opinion, this is false. Why? If the first word took two prototype and prototyping, then that would have the same meaning. But just prototype is just an object, okay? So I think this is false, right? Okay, I will do this. Okay. No, era el revés. Le borramos el true. Okay. Vamos a ver. When prototyping, you aren't able to review initial product shapes or branding images. What do you think? Is this true or is this false? What do you think? This statement is true? It's true. Are you able or aren't you able? 
balls. Why? Because uh, prototyping is the process when you create uh, the first prototype. And then you can uh, make the prototype uh, with the first uh, characteristics uh, or the initial materials. Uh, uh, and then you can you obtain a, a result as a result uh, the first prototype. All right, so you are able to review the initial yeah. product shape and the branding images. Yes. Okay, what do you think, Wilbur? Is it true or is this false? Mm. Uh, just like says uh, Nelson, because uh, the prototype is, is the pro is the first product uh, in the, when you are starting to, to to improve the product. So uh, when you are in the prototyping, you are able to improve you you your your product to be launched. Okay, so number two for you is false. Pause. All right. Okay, we're going to erase true. Okay, that's right. Hey guys, what do you think? Do you agree? Yes, I, I agree. Okay, it's false, right? There you go, because you are able to do that. That's one of the purposes, right? One advantage of prototyping is that it allows to verify the functionality of the product. For example, identify flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage. What do you think? True or false? Teacher, what's the meaning of foreseen? Foreseen, previstas. Ahí uh, está conjugado el verbo, ¿verdad? Yes, in the Participio. past participle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Advantage of prototyping. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I think uh, it's true uh, because uh, uh, it's the first uh, product, uh, but uh, this product is not, doesn't have uh, full characteristics and we, we can test uh, a few a few characteristics about the product mm, i think so okay it's true okay but uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't know <laughs> why you must be sure about your answer okay what do you think a ver, que... uh -huh. tell me tell me Is it confusing? Es que pienso no. que sí, pero a la vez como que un, un, un por ciento sí y un por ciento no, entonces no sé cómo okay. me genera duda, pero de que sí estoy como más inclinado a true, sí. All right. Uh -huh. Is there any other opinion about if this is true? So in my case, I agree with Nelson because the prototype if the first product, um, we can test uh, all the characteristics for the product and we, we can improve if it's necessary. Okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think it is true too, because it says, 
the advantage that you're talking about is functionality. And functionality means that we need to see as a manner of verification if there exists any flaw that maybe I didn't consider before making a prototype, right? So I think when I have a prototype, I can see, okay, this is not working well, so I have to improve this flaw. I have to correct this error or something like that, right? So yes, number three, I think it is true. Do you agree it's true? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, then. Now, number four, when analyzing and testing and fun the functionality of your prototype, you are as assessing the performance of various materials. Is that true or is that false? I guess it's true because um, when you design uh, the product, you only imagine how can works in some kind of material. But when you create the first product, you can uh, see if that material, for example, is too heavy or is too easy to broke. To break. Or to uh -huh. break, sorry. Okay. Uh, something like that. And uh, for that reason, I, I guess, uh, with the prototype, you can prove the, the different material as part of the process. All right, yes. And this is the process that you are uh, following when you are analyzing and testing the, uh, the functionality. When you have the prototype in your hands, right? You are assessing the performance of various materials because you may think, as you said, if it is breakable or if it is um, more resistant, right? Uh, so you can prove, I mean, try a new one if a new material, if you feel that this material doesn't work as you were expecting that it has to work, right? So um, yes, I think it is true too. Guys, uh, is there any other, is there, is there any other, Mm, opinion? Uh-huh. I agree. Okay, yes, because that's the time when you have to do all the tests, the possible tests, right? You think about the sizes, you think about the colors, you think about any other feature or characteristic that is going to be like a distinctive one. And also what it's going to be more feasible, right? So yeah, I think you can try the various materials at the time that you are testing and analyzing the functionality of your prototype. So I think it is true too, okay? True. So yeah, we did it, yeah, 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 okay. Now guys, veamos este último ejercicio que tengo por acá, okay. And it says, number in order the steps of the production process for a shampoo. I will try to do this in a better way, just one second. Number two, go. What's the way of doing this there? And here we are. Number in order, the steps of the production process for a shampoo. The first one I think is mix. Okay. What do you think, guys? I agree. Okay. Yes. So this one will be number one. Let's put up. No sé si agarra como texto, no. Mix will be, ah, uh, that's Yes. Uh -huh. What will be the next one? 
quality control. Filter. I think it's filter. Filter. Okay. Why do you think it's quality control, Nelson? Because you prepare uh, all of materials uh, and then you you use these materials for make the product. So um, before you need to ensure that these materials are good for, for make the product. Okay, so in this case, Nelson, I think you are um, a proposing that quality control has to be at the end of each step right? Because you have to be sure that the mix is going to be okay uh, before filtering or before the next step, uh, if it is uh, in the better, the best conditions, right? So yeah, I agree with you, Nelson, but uh, the process here is like step by step, okay? Step by step. Actually, quality, quality control can be in any way, in any part of the process. But the most um, common would be the end, right? The end of the process. Okay. Ah, okay. it was number number two, right? Number two. <laughs> what about number three, guys? Copying. Okay. Cap. Cap. Capping. Capping. Hmm. Okay, what will be the next step? Labeling. Labeling. Packing. Right. Or, ah, yes, labeling. Okay. Uh, labeling the, the bottles, right? In this case, right? Hey, this will be number four. Mm -hmm. And then this one. Packing, or before packing, it goes in the quality control. What do you think? Number five is quality control. Uh -huh. A ver, debatamos esto. Sería que usted va a mandar a empacar todo listo para que le llegue al cliente. Are you going to pack? everything before revising that everything is okay? What do you think? If that should be solved, uh, I think a uh, quality control uh, should be in each uh, process in, the, in each state. Okay, in each step, right? In each step. But after, I mean, when does it finish? The process of the product, uh, the object finish. When does it finish? When you cap, right? Or when you label, right? When you labeled, then you have to do your quality control. This is in a common sense. It's not that it's going to happen like that. As yesterday, I said that this is all in paper. This is all in paper because in the action, you have to have the quality control acting in any part of the process, right? So yes, I think the first one will be the quality control before packing. That's my point of view, okay? That's my point of view. But you can do also a, uh, vice versa, no. Inverse. Okay. Well, actually, I'm gonna look for that word up. But let's say that this one will be the number five. Okay. This one will be the number five, and this one will be the number six. All right. Even though this one could be the number six, right? And this is going to be number five, right? This is going to be number five. But quality control can be present in any part of the process, okay? 
Okay, guys. Yes? Yes, it's okay. Is there any questions so far? No questions. No questions. All right. So let's go to our minus. Oh no, actually no, we are not going to our manuals. Allow me to go back and introduce this. And we want to go to the production route presentations that you made yesterday. And this is a manner of review, okay, as a manner of feedback. And then we are going to read, or we're going to do a reading exercise uh, from our manual. And then we have a comprehension activity. We want to continue um, uh, checking up some opinions and if you have questions and answers and also I'm going to give you some other exercises that they are written exercises okay so our topic tonight is the review unit three review a product review a product this is the first thing okay to review a product even though we are going to review your product right if everything is okay to the date, and then we need to review the contents of unit three, okay? The class objective is that you will be able to review unit three contents, describing the steps of the production process of one product. What product? Yours. Okay, so allow me to go first to this part, okay? One second. Okay, el el grupo de permítame que estoy tratando de ver los grupos. Solo pasaron ayer el primero y el segundo, ¿verdad? A ver, vamos a ir a no, no. Yo creo que ya están listos por acá, ¿verdad? A ver, José Miguel, completaron su eh, su production route or your basic plan of production? No. No? Okay. Eh, a ver, eh, ¿quién me quedaba? Hosman. Hosman, ¿lograron finalizar? Se podría decir que sí, teacher. Sí. Ok. Yeah. Um, bien, vamos a escuchar entonces el grupo de Hosman y luego nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms para que ustedes hagan su prototyping. Ok, su prototype, que hagan su sketch. Sketch sería su dibujo de cómo sería su producto, señalando sus distinctive features, también señalando eh, los materiales que van a utilizar, eh, también las medidas, ¿verdad? O eh, Elementos, si son piezas separadas, ¿verdad? También elementos y así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? La cuestión es elaborar un sketch de su producto, que eso lo vamos a hacer ahorita en el breakout room después de escuchar a Hosman y su grupo. Vamos a ver, Hosman. Go ahead, please. Yo okay, que teacher. Uh -huh. Se lo voy a compartir pantalla.
Eh, ¿quién, ¿Quién va a, a...? Ok, sorry, teacher, pensé que estaba... El, el, el audio se veía... Cuando compartí pantalla no compartí el audio, sorry. Oh, ok. Okay. Okay, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Pixar test analysis is the uh, with the product. In this case, uh, the process, the line of elaboration, the product is is the uh, the light products. Um, and yet, ingredients in the in the lighting is the number one list of material. Vegetal floor water yet cheese, oven salt, sugar, tomato sauce. Number two, nutricide prep material required for the manufacturing of pizza base on the tomato base sauce. Uh, number three, prepare the tomato sauce. Number four, prepare the dough for the pizza. Number five, pizza base formation. Number six, pre coat the dough. Number seven, add ingredients. Number eight, bake again. Without ingredients, number eight, once bake it, cut the pizza into slice. And number 10, uh, pack the pizza in the cardboard box to keep it warm. In number 11, deliver the pizza, they use it at home. This is the line product, the, the pizza. And the machiner, the machiner necessary for elaboration of the product. I need a uh, oven, refrigerator, good pizza, and prep table. This is the the presentation of different like now uh, the uh, time process of the pizza teacher. The uh, number three to the number 11, all the process of making your pizza until you take it to the customer, right? So it's, it's a very good order of actions in the process. So it is good. It is good. Thank you, Hosman. Okay, teacher. Okay, everybody. Now we're going to move to the breakout rooms. And remember, you are going to... A <clears throat> design or sketch your prototype, okay?
you are as a listener, it will be helpful for you to join your room. Okay, cool. Go on the process of what I have to teach you. Is that right? Es como un bosquejo para hacer cómo se hace el proceso del, 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 del producto, ¿verdad? Yes, it is. It's a sketch. I mean, it's just a plan or the design of your product. Uh, it could be a drawing, right? It could be okay. uh, como un plano, right? Just giving okay. the measurements and something like that, like a sketch, right? Like a sketch. Okay. Okay, thank you. Vaya, quiero ver, estuve, acabo de descargar unas imágenes. Voy, voy a ver dónde lo puedo hacer, a ver si puedo. Pero... Okay. Las cosas de bosquejo no son la mierda. Trabaja en Ofiu, yo no, no sé nada de eso. ¿De dibujo? Yes. ¿De diseño? Uh -huh. Pero ya vino Edwin Antonio Quintero, ya nos ayudó. Ahora dice, mira. Quiero ver. Edwin. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, uh, we need uh, we need to to do the sketch. Yes, of course. About uh, our product. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Dibujo on paper. Ah, que no dibujé. Ahí está. ¿Quién es el macizo dibujando? Edwin, Tony. Edwin, tu momento de brillar ha llegado. <risa> Your moment of, of Edwin, time you... <risa> is now. I can draw. <risa> can you? Uh, but Edwin, tell them. I always try. Tell them. <risa> you can do it, Edwin. Mm. Salvador va, Salvador dice que lo va a hacer. Dale, Salvador. No fui al kinder, no puedo dibujar. Ah. Solo fue a recreo en el kinder. Just try it. If you don't try, nunca es tarde para aprender. Never do it. Never is late to learn. Ok. Va, Ulises, te toca, dale, Ulises. No, hombre, chato, chico, chato, si el carabato. Que, si es pudiera, un vaso. <ríe> si yo pudiera, yo lo haría, pero. I can, my friend. I can do it. ¿Y por qué no lo escribimos? Si no podemos dibujarlo, ¿por qué no lo escribimos? O algo, no sé. Necesitamos dibujar. Hagamos una lista de los ingredientes. Y te eh, pero lo tenemos que... ¿Qué? No sé. Ahí está, mira.
¿Por qué nadie dice nada? We are trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. But... Alicia, I think everybody's waiting that you to do it. That's why they are in silence. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, everybody. Who, who is drawing, guys? Hey, don't be like that. Hey, come on, guys. Yes, come on, guys. <laughs> Edwin, are you trying? Yes, but I can't. Oh, okay. But just uh, with, I mean, with a pencil and just that, like a sketch. It's not that it has to take all the features, but just an example of how it would be, right? <laughs> okay, John. Oh, hi, teacher. Hello, Jose Miguel. Are you alone? Hey, hey. So, so, um, Are you with Raúl? Raúl is here, but listening. I am but, here. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, actually, on this play, like you said, um, how I took told you yesterday uh -huh. the we have a service delivery service yes and, and instead uh, a prototype actually i describe uh, how create a, a, a prototype how co how prototyping the service oh, okay mm -hmm. for example eh, por ejemplo, estoy poniendo qué es lo que espero, qué debo medir, cosas así. Ok, good, 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 good. Porque no se me ocurrió cómo describir el proceso de prueba <ríe> más que mediante okay. el uso. Así que dije, nada, mejor veamos cómo se definió. All right. Ajá, uh -huh. but that's a very good option that you take, yeah, that you took. And um, what about your pitch of your product? I mean, if you um, are going to... Uh, have like a logo or branding your I don't know in uh, fact, we have, your people uniforms or I don't know in, the motorcycles in fact we have uh, something of that uh, information but mm -hmm. uh, el compañero no se presenta Oh, okay. <laughs> Can guard all those those datos. Oh, all right. Well, then to find the way that you would do um a prototype or prototyping the service, and then I you give to... us just a, a a short summary, okay? Just give yeah, us a I short was, summary. I was thinking in, to describe mm -hmm. what we have. Okay. And 
and describe uh, the processing of the prototype and okay. uh, something like we have a, a logo but explain que ahorita no lo tenemos explicar <laughs> okay. no tenemos, okay. cosas, pero que sepan que ya está all right good good okay that will be your presentation good jose miguel so yeah. i'm going to see another group so uh please continue okay. all right there you Thanks, go teacher. Mm -hmm. Hello? No. Aha, tell me. Eh, quería saber qué otra cosa teníamos que hacer además del sketch y de la lista de ingredientes y de los procesos. Eh, solamente el sketch. Only the sketch of your um, prototype. Only your uh, prototype defining what materials you are using, the measurements, measurements. or the distinctive feature that you have or the main characteristic in your product, right? Like uh, saying the dough will be special for this and this and that, or uh, the tomato sauce has um, a, a secret ingredient, okay? Or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Describing the process. No, no, describing your prototype. Ah, the product. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Okay. Good. Okay. The amounts, the amounts of ingredients. Yes. Uh huh. The, the ingredients you put on your prototype and what's your distinctive feature, right? And uh, also, also you can see for, for what the failures. For I'm sorry. For, for the pizza, yes, sir. For the pizza, yes, of course. Uh huh. Okay. For example, you can uh, annotate some flaws that you have seen when you are prototyping. Okay, the flaws, flaws son uh, the um, failures. Okay. ¿Cuál podría ser su falla en una de esas características o por qué no podría funcionar de esa manera que lo habían pensado? All right. All right. Good. No, ya. ya que unas imágenes no sé qué más podría hacerse. Ahí de ahí sí no sé qué, qué sigue. Sí, de ahí básicamente es según darle lectura a lo de ayer, según con el siguiéndolo con las imágenes. Es lo único que se me ocurre porque yo sí más más por hacerle al, al, al archivo no se me ocurre nada más, la verdad, siendo sincero. How would it be your prototype? I mean, you have to construct, you have to build or make your first product to see the flaws, to see 
uh, the characteristics that are functioning or you are going to test the functionality of your product. So it's the drawing of your product. Okay. Mm -hmm. So think about the juice at the end, as you have it. I mean, at the end you have this bottle of juice, right? This bottles of juice. So you yes, can get one of those. We have. Okay, uh -huh. this one, the last one, the last mm -hmm. one, the bottles. Uh huh. Those bottles could be your prototype. So you are going to define what are the characteristics of these products. I mean, it will be a, the measurement or the color or uh, if, it, if it will be plastic, the materials you used, right? Plastic or a glass yes. or whatever you want. Okay, also we have to give the eye uh, over this picture. Yes, you have to describe, you have to describe your product. Mm -hmm. So I can delete the other image. Actually, let them over there. Let them over there because they are for the last process that we already uh, described yesterday, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let them over there. Just talk about the juice. You can talk about all the process by the pictures, but you will focus on the juice. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Describe the characteristics of your your product. And what will be the distinctive feature also, okay? Okay. Hello. Are you done <laughs> yet? No. Not yet. Not yet, teacher. All right. Continue, please. Okay. How was it? I uh, I was needing much more time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is what we are going to do. Uh, we are going to have a different uh, dynamic right now, just for you to see other groups work work. Okay. Uh, but I want everybody comes. Back. Short and in Spanish, the same thing. Okay.
<laughs> uh, yeah, because that's kind of different, right? Mm -hmm. We haven't focused about the service, but uh, don't worry, you have done not more difficult, but mm -hmm. it's very different to the explanation in the book or video. <laughs> Yes, because it's not tangible. Mm -hmm. right. It's totally different, the process. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, we are going to move all around. Okay, I will recreate the groups just for you to see what your classmates did. Okay, los voy a mover a todos ahorita de grupo. Y quiero que todos en su grupo que queden expliquen su trabajo, cómo lo han hecho, cómo lo han pensado desde que comenzamos hasta ahorita el prototype. Solamente lo vamos a tomar como en unos 10 minutos, así que no la pensemos mucho, vamos directo a hacerlo, ¿ok? A ver las ideas de los demás, ¿verdad? A ver las ideas de los demás, cómo lo han hecho, para poder ir abriendo un poco nuestro pensamiento, ¿ok? ¿Se comprendió lo que vamos a hacer, jóvenes? Yes. Okay. Please, everybody, join your rooms. If you need, if you need, if you need, if you need something of other place. Al otro lugar, like Freun, like, um, ah, bueno, otra cosa que no se comida, another, another thing, you can, eh, eh, I forget the, the word, tal, tal vez tú recuerdas pedir, uh, order, uh, Thanks, teacher. If you want order something different, uh, in the app you can do that. You can order uh, if you want. Actually, uh, we think in uh, app service, uh, uh, mobile phone app, and maybe a website. If you stay in your house and you want to use your computer, it may be optional. Uh, phone number this this, uh, this your work Sorry.
Hello, teacher. I am here. Hello, sorry. Okay, great. Uh, are you able to participate, Raúl? Yeah, I saw. <laughs> oh, all right. So uh, you were having the conversation with Edwin and Hosman. Okay. Okay. The conversation is about the product and the process and all your projects, okay? From uh, of, the, of your product, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hosman, you may explain what your product is. Okay, teacher. Um... Uh, with the product, the elaboration is the pizza. Um, the product is the, this is, uh, sorry. And the elaboration the, the, with the product, with product is a different the competition because the is a, a artist, artist, artisanal. Yeah, as um, this is the different the competition the we produce. Um, sorry. Um, the the ingredients of the, the elaboration the we produce. Uh, I need the, for example, for example. The cheese, tomato, um, and bakes. I need the uh, uh, finish the products. I need the the pack to the 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 the, the inbox, the pizza. Um, uh, and other ingredients, for example, uh, I need vegetables, different vegetables. And water, cheese, yes, over salt, sugar, tomato sauce. Um, I need in the case the, the necessary uh, machining, for example, oven, refrigerator, good pizza, and prepare and prep table. Um, the the good pizza or sales a uh, different size. For example, the minions and family and, and size XL. For example, the medium, the size in the medium uh, size is the 31 centimeters, no sé cómo se dice. The string 31 centimeters. Centimeters, centimeters. centimeters. Uh -huh. Thank you, centimeters and family. 36 centimeter and XL, XL, sorry, and 41 centimeter. This is the, the, the medium, the, the size, the, the, the pizza. Um, Very good. What about your product, Edwin? What, which one is? So in my case, uh, our product is Minuta. So uh, we think to buy, to sell um, the Tunko Beach and uh, it's a place because we know the weather is warm and all want something cool to enjoy. And uh, in this case, our product is natural and we want to use all the ingredients, uh, for example, sugar uh, and fruit for the scent and the jelly fruit using the ice as principal ingredient. And we are thinking about the container Rosa, you are alone. Yes, el compañero se acaba de desconectar. 
Oh, okay, okay. I will move you to another one, all right? To another room. Uh, just for okay. you to continue with uh, the activity. Okay, we are almost, we are about to finish, but you may move okay. over there. Mm -hmm. La, la. How do you say licuadora? Blender. Um, Wait, I don't know. Blender. <laughs> Blender. Yeah, I will write it down on the chat. Uh, Blender. Ah, uh, Blender. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, Karen uh, was in in his in her work only okay. we uh, we were Nancy mm -hmm. and I okay mm -hmm. now you know yes. what product is Nancy producing what is um, the, Nancy's product Nancy have uh, like fruit uh, pizza oh okay Okay, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. yes. Now you know what they offer. Now you know um, the process of making the pizza. Okay. Uh, he said the process, it was uh, not so easy. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting, the process okay. about the pizza. Okay, Nancy, what about you? What's Elise's Elisa, Elisa's product? They are product they're producing uh, minutas, but I don't know how do you say in English. Minutas, uh, minutas. Yeah. Minutas. <laughs> uh -huh. Only minuta. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Ice crushed or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, or in some places they say raspados, I don't know. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're yes. right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or it's like that. Con. Yes, or frozen things. Yeah, frozen, a snow cone. Uh huh. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Yes, and he said he was drawing <laughs> literally the the minuta. <laughs> yes, they were trying yes. uh, with the little car. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Wow, okay. that was very much a sport. <laughs> <laughs> very interesting. Hey, Elisa, do you have the drawing? Can you share it? Take a picture of it. No teacher. Because... <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. No, ah, no, okay. So you didn't finish it. All right. Yeah. But you, when, when you finish it, then you take a picture of it. Okay. And you mm. share it. <laughs> okay. Uh, nice. Continue guys. Continue your, your talking. Okay. 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 Good. Um, uh, Nancy, tell me, do you have.
Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, <clears throat> Wilbur, can you tell me about the product that your classmate presented to you? Okay. Uh, we didn't finish, but we have remembered that uh, Lorena, uh, that uh, she's not, she shared the document, but uh, anyone find it. But I remember, more, more or less. Okay. Our, our products is, our ingredient products are, are uh, fruits. Mixed oh, that's with. your product. Yeah, that's your product. Now, yes. the product that your classmate presented to you. Yes. Uh, ¿Con quién platico ahorita? Ah, perdón. Uh -huh. Was with Miguel Torres. Okay, what did he say about their product? Miguel Torres was talking about... Uh, uh, it is not a product, it's a service. Uh, uh, he was talking about a, a, a prototype uh, version web um, app. And it's like a delivery. It's the future compute, co competitor uh, of Pedidos Ya. Oh, competitor. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, uh, but, but their app, uh, it's another others they don't they don't have they don't they don't do uh, uh how how can i say uh they they they, they only uh, have service about uh products no food uh -oh. that's the difference uh-huh that's the the difference Oh, okay. So they don't deliver food, food. items. Uh, well, yes. Do, do they, they do. deliver? No, they don't. They don't. Uh, they Miguel, only... do you? We deliver uh, food and other items. Oh. Deliver oh, both. Okay. everything. Okay. Both. Okay, good. Now uh -huh. we understood, right, Wilbur? Very good. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Wilbur. You did a very good job, guys. Now you see, Jose Miguel, that you are able to uh, tell about your product now or your service in this case. Okay, now um, let's listen to. Uh, ha, 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 ha. What is the product that you, I mean, they presented to you tonight? Hello, teacher. What is the product that you, they, I mean, that they presented to you tonight? Um, our product or the... No, no, hair product. I mean, your classmate product. Okay. Um, the, pro the product was pizza. So... Uh, she said uh, the she tell me about the product the about pizza but uh the process is not is is not easy but it's very interesting because a uh, create pizza uh, has a lot of ingredients so that is interesting. Okay. Uh -huh. The combination of flavors and yeah, what's going to result at the end if you try with one and other vegetable or, or any other ingredient, right? Oh, that's good. Yes. And it's yes. interesting, Elise. Good. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, people, we are going to stop there. Okay, we're going to stop there. And we want to see your prototypes now. We want to see your prototypes, okay? So let's look at the prototype of group one. Okay, you may share your screen if you have your, uh, your prototype. Now you describe your prototype.
Just give me a minute, teacher. A minute? Okay, do I, I mean, uh, you will go next after the group number two, is it okay? All right, so group number two, please share your, um, share your, your prototype, please. Mm -hmm. It will be with Rafael, Edwin, Eulise, Nelson, Carlos, Dominguez. Se me durmieron, chicos. El grupo número dos presente su prototipo. A ver, a ver. Give us a second, please. Oh, okay, another second. Okay, but uh, were you able to finish? Si, si pudieron finalizar. Díganme todos los grupos. Si no, les queda el fin de semana y presentan su prototipo. ¿Sí? Está, ¿Estaría bien? La mía es corto, yeah. fácil. Yes, simple. please. Please, Jose Miguel, go ahead. Okay, Jose Miguel, okay. Me, Jose Miguel is going to share um, his ideas mm. of prototyping, okay? Uh, más que compartir, explicaré. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we have a service. We don't have a product. For that reason, was very uh, difficult because uh, at the beginning, we don't understand how we work in that. But uh, uh, after all that, we think in a beta test. Uh, our prototype will be a, a, an app, an, a beta app in, for a short time for the people can uh, use and prove that. Uh, what, we, what we want with that proof, uh, we want for four things. First, uh, we prove uh, to provide customers with the best possible experience. We have to improve this app in, com in comparison, in comparison, I don't remember the word, to the others in the market. The second point in the beta test, in the prototype, is the uh, how, how, we, how will we measure success we will we, we will calculate in how many people have contacted us, how many orders have been placed, and how much money has been spent. Mm -hmm. With this data, uh, we know a little bit more about our success. success. And it's connected with uh, our third, uh, uh, point: What are our costs? In this in this proof, we consider uh, all the costs. For example, design of the app, development cost, uh, shipping of the product, handling cost, and we will also want to calculate what return rates we are likely to achieve. All right. We, and the uh, finally the four uh, points for topic is create a user interface easy for for the the potential customers and easy to use for ourselves mm -hmm. we want something the customers can use uh, quickly mm -hmm. uh, and something friendly Okay. But by ourselves, we need something uh, useful. We, we we want something we can use for controlling the the requirements, the orders, for controlling the the money uh, to pay the uh, our providers, suppliers, the word, suppliers, and and the employees. All right. So all that uh, we need in the in the app and the program. Okay, very good. So now, Jose Miguel, I'm just um, visualizing that 
You have a product. Yeah. You have two parts in this service. You have the app, the app right? And you have the service that you provide through an app. So you have to design your app and you can make a prototype of your app. Okay, so that will be in next uh, next processes. But yeah, okay. Uh, maybe we haven't visualized this first, but now we have visualized it, all right? Okay, let's look at... A ver, ¿alguien ya tiene alguno terminado ahorita? No, okay. Entonces, me lo traen listo para el lunes, ¿verdad? Me lo traen listo su prototype para el lunes. Eh, por ahí le pasé a José Miguel. Eh, a ver, sí, solo copié el texto, no le copié el link. Pero para que pueda ver cómo eh, algo similar a lo que usted tiene, pero tal vez de una manera más fácil eh, de cómo hacer un pro prototype para service, ¿ok? Eh, Y en este caso, pues sí, hay un producto. El producto es una app, the app. ¿verdad? Uh -huh, exacto. Y prácticamente, si es download for free, es siempre un producto, ¿verdad? Porque lo que usted vende es el, el servicio, no la app, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, Thanks, okay people. Yes, good. Vamos entonces al manual. En el manual tenemos una eh, yep. lectura. Tell me. Uh, perdón, una pregunta. Eh, aquí en el, en el chat compartió los pasos. Eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. Completar. Yes, actually, uh, this was for more for Jose Miguel, but it's the same for is the same for a product. It's the same oh. for a product. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. But yes, that's the process of prototyping. That's the process of pro prototyping. So. Mm -hmm. Copy the link, and now we share the link. Okay, but now, guys, let's go to the to the to the manual. Okay, and we are going to talk just about the how to analyze the costs and why is this so important. Okay, we want to go to this part. And this is on page 32, if I'm not wrong. So please, you may go over that. We want to read this. Okay, no voy a compartir la lectura primero. Voy a compartir solamente el audio para que ustedes escuchen. Si ustedes tienen la lectura, pues yo sugeriría que mejor cierren los ojos para hacer esta prueba, ¿ok? <ríe> Porque lo que queremos es escucharlo primero y luego lo vamos a leer, ¿ok? Vamos. There are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup by the business. The cost of production. Fixed and variable costs determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, like labor and materials. In pricing your product, First, determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed costs to your total variable costs. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Now, you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the costs of production. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As prices fall, 
demand rises, and as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting a price as the costs of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As the consumer's income goes up, so does the demand for a product. Determining the markup of a product. Regardless of the type of small business, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planned profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. Ok, así, palabras que escucharon, palabras, just words, words. Markup. Markup, ok. Cost, evaluate. Evaluate, ajá. Uh -huh. Production. Uh -huh. It says the man fall or the man raise. Raise, ajá. Uh -huh. Like that. <laughs> Yes, Nancy, good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Other words? Just words. I don't know, but we are talking about some, some topics. Uh, what's the meaning about one of them? But I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what, uh, what words. Uh -huh. But in general, I know that, they, that she was talking about some topics and the meaning about them. Oh, okay, okay. She was listing some topics. Okay, good. Do you remember how many topics did she talk about? Not really? Uh, no, uh, maybe four or five. Oh, all right, all right. So guys, uh, this is about costs and how to analyze the costs. We want to price the, or we want to see the relation of the cost to the price, um, with the price that we are going to offer this product to the market, okay, or in the market. And there is um, math, I mean, arithmetical or arithmetic relation of cost plus um, the manual labor and everything that you have to consider, right? Manual labor. And it says like the machinery and the, the fixed costs. So fixed costs and variable costs, two types of costs. So those are elements, elements. So there is a relationship between the costs with the price that we are going to offer this product. And the cost defines the price of our product. That's what, what she's talking about. So now let's go and uh, I will share the screen with you uh, for you to read along, okay? You will read along. No me deja compartirles. A ver, hoy sí. Algo tengo que tener abierto que no me está dejando compartir. Ah, just I'm still sharing. Okay, here it is. So this is an excerpt of an article from thevalence.com. So we want to talk about the cost of production, the market demand for a product of service or service, and determining the markup of a product. Determining, determining the markup of a product or um, a, the profits, right? The profits. Teacher, what is the meaning of markup? Markup is margin. Uh, margin. 
Eh, uh -huh. En este caso sería como el margen de, eh, se refiere más bien al margen de ganancia. Ah, ok. Oh, okay. okay. Ajá, Thanks. like markup up, uh, percentage. Just give me one second and I will do this. There are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing a product. The cost of production, the market demand for the product, and the desired markup by the business. The cost of production. Fixed and variable costs determine the selling price of a business firm's product. Fixed costs include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable costs include items that change with your sales volume, like labor and materials. In pricing your product, first, determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit of your product. Although it may be a difficult calculation, a simple formula to help you is to add your total fixed costs to your total variable costs. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Now, you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the costs of production. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. As prices fall, demand rises, and as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting a price as the costs of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As the consumer's income goes up, so does the demand for a product. Determining the markup of a product. Regardless of the type of small business, markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your planned profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. Okay, who wants to read the first paragraph and the second? Okay. I would like to write. Uh, all right, Boba, go ahead. And next, it's uh, next will be Jose Miguel, right? The second yeah. and the second, right? Hmm? There, there are three important factors businesses need to consider when pricing and product. The cost of production. Uh, the market demand for the product and the desired makeup by the businesses. The cost of production, fixed and variable cost determine, determine the ceiling price of a business firm's product. Fixed cost include items such as the rent for your office or manufacturing space. Variable cost, include items that change with your sales volume like your labors and materials in pricing your product first determine how much of your fixed and variable costs go into producing each unit in your product although it may be a difficult calculation a simple formula formula to help you is to add your total fixed cost to your total variable cost. Then you divide the total by your estimated total sales. You will have then your cost of production per unit. Now you have to sell the product for at least this amount in order to cover the cost of production. Okay, continue, Jose Miguel. Uh, only the second. Yes, please. Okay. Market demand for a product or service. Market demand for a product or a service is the second factor that a business owner should consider when pricing a product. The law of demand is that there is an inverse relationship between demand and price. 
as prices fall, demand rises, and as prices rise, demand falls. Demand for your product is just as important to consider when setting a price as the cost of production. There is usually a positive or direct relationship between consumer income and demand. As a consumer's income goes up, so does demand for a product. Thank you. Nancy, please continue the last paragraph. Okay, it's determine the markup of a product. Regardless of the type of small business, Markup is the amount you add to the cost of your product to determine the selling price. The markup percentage is determined by the amount of your plant profit, the type of the product or service you are selling, how rapidly the product sells, and the amount of service performed by the seller. All right, thank you very much. Now, guys, let's go to the comprehension check we've got just below of this article. This is just a part of the article, so we are going to do the comprehension check we have below. And let's read. What are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? What are the most important factors to consider when setting a price for a product? Let's go and read it. The cost of production, market demand for product or service, and the markup, markup of a product. Okay, mm -hmm. because there are three important factors, right? When pricing a product, which ones? Again, please, this one. The cost mm -hmm. of product, market demand for a product or service, and determining the markup of a product. Okay. And um, when you want to set the price, when you want to set the price for a product, okay, there are some elements, right? Some elements. Now let's go to see what are some examples of fixed costs. Fixed. Costs. The rent for the for office or manufacturing space. Very good. Mm -hmm. That will be one, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what are examples of variable costs? <laughs> Variable cost determine the selling price or the business for products. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But e examples of variable costs? Materials. They are items that change, right? Uh -huh. But which ones? Labor and? Labor and materials. Materials, right? Mm -hmm. Labor and materials. So we are yes. talking about the people, right? And the costs of producing, and they may change. They may change. They are not fixed. They are variable, okay? So yeah, labor and materials. Let's go to the next question. It says, uh, how does the market demand affect the pricing of your product. How does market demand affect the pricing of your product? Mm, it says as prices fall, demand rises. And as prices rise, demand fall. Okay, so it's an inverse relationship, right? Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you very much. What about the number five? What variables influence to determine the markup percentage? What variables influence to determine the market percentage? Is determined by the amount of your planet profit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The type of the product or service. 
Very good. So the amount of planned profit. Mm -hmm. And also the type. Yeah, the type of your product or your service. Because it could be exclusive. It could be customized. It could be for all the population, right? In general, it's not for just one person. It's not a luxury. It's not a luxury object. So yeah, it's determined for that too, right? Okay, good. Thank you very much. Is there any questions so far about this reading? No, I guess not. No, I think it's just uh, reading, reading a little bit for a more prohibition. Pro Comprehension. <laughs> Comprehension. All right. Uh huh. Good. Now, guys, what is the formula to um, calculate the price or the cost of production? What is the formula? Uh huh. Aquí está descrita. Teacher, but when in this case the word fixed, mm -hmm. uh, uh, how do you what does it mean uh, fixed in, in, in this uh, case? Uh -huh. Fijos, costos fijos, fijos. Oh. Mm -hmm. y costos variables. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Los también fijos es como fixed. reparar, ¿verdad? Oh, yes. That's another meaning of this word. Mm -hmm. Something that, that has been fixed is that has been repaired. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a different context, right? Uh -huh. But let's look at the formula. Let's look at the formula. You have to mm -hmm, make this uh, a, um, a arithmetic a operation. You have to add the fixed cost to the total variable costs. So that's an addition, right? That's an addition. And addition is to my, okay? It's addition. Yes, it's plus. So you have to uh, write total fixed costs plus, a ver, hagámosla en el chat todo. Esa fórmula. Uh -huh. Fixed costs plus variable costs mm -hmm. plus, uh, no, divided, divided, divided How do I write this sign? Uh -huh. Divided, uh-huh, and to what? Into the estimated total sales. Estimated total. That's the cost per unit. Okay. That's the cost per unit. Or that will be, um, actually, the cost of production is just uh, this calculation. But then when you want to uh, or need to price your product, then you have to divide this into the estimated total set. Okay, something like this. A ver, no me la han escrito, no me la han escrito en el chat, ¿qué pasó? Bien, jóvenes, son las... Two type and first. <laughs> yes, I did it, but I did it, I did, uh, I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't do it on purpose. I was just trying to do it and then I hit the answer. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. Pero ya nadie me la escribió. ¿Qué pasó? No se vale usted como son conmigo. Ahí está. There you go. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh huh. Nice. Yes. Uh huh. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, people, so we are going to call the roll. So I am going to call the roll. So you are going to say present when you hear your name. Remember to turn your camera on. And the session one on one tonight turn is for. Ana Lorena is not connected again, right? And Blanca Jennifer, uh, she's just a listener right now. Blanca Jennifer. No, she told me that she was not able to do it. Then I have a uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez next in the list if you want to stay. Did I say Carlos Ernesto? No, Carlos Alberto, right? Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Teacher, yo ya estuvo. Yeah, okay. Eh, a ver. Jóvenes, ¿alguien quisiera quedarse? ¿Alguien quisiera quedarse? Yo sé que es viernes, pero yo los animo porque definitivamente quisiera quedarme con alguno de ustedes. Ok, bien, voy a pasar la lista y se de deciden, ¿verdad? Ok, Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana, Blanca Jennifer Torres de Martínez, Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez, Carlos Present. Eduardo, thank you, Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán, Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda, Carlos Francisco Arias Sánchez. Mr. Carlos Francisco, no. Ok. Eh, Cristina Edith Ramos Ríos. Present. Ok. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Glenda Josefina Toledo Leiva. Wasn't she connected? I remember I saw her. I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe it wasn't in my room. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Great. Osman Atilio Serrano. Present, teacher. Karen Iset Sanchez Castro. Miss Karen, she was at work, right? Nancy Margarita Moran Moran. Present. Okay, Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. There you are. Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Good. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez Flores. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. José Miguel Torres Hernández. Present teacher. Ok, solo me voy a tomar 30 segunditos para decirles que aquí en la plataforma yo les posteé una actividad, está abajo exactamente de eh, la videoconferencia que se subirá eh, de este día. Así que por favor, todos están invitados a participar. Acuérdense que estas son actividades extra para que ustedes puedan practicar para que ustedes puedan eh, complementar o extender, ¿verdad? Extender más bien. Entonces, ustedes se van aquí en la 3.8, que es la videoconferencia número 20, y se van hasta abajo y tenemos Production, production Process Summary. ¿Qué es lo que hay que hacer ahí? Solamente es Write a Pipeline Summary, take, talking about what the production process is. Y por favor, incluyan estas palabras en su summary. Y eso les va a ayudar, uh -huh, por si no han comprendido algún término, ustedes buscan qué significa y lo utilizan en su resumen, ¿verdad? Su resumen debe incluir sketch, prototype, prototyping, manufacturing, assembly, production line, ¿ok? okay. Assembly line, assembly line, aquí falta line, ¿ok? Assembly line and production line, ¿ok? Ahí lo encuentran, por favor. Y de una sola vez les quiero animar a que participen en las discusiones totales. Porque, miren, eh, por ahí les he posteado unas discusiones muy buenas. 
y no han participado. Miren, todas las tengo solo yo solita, solo en la que hicimos aquí en clase aparece. Miren, en todas estoy yo solita. No puede ser eso, jóvenes. A ver, los estoy animando y queda comprobado de que y, tienen un montón. Miren, tienen un montón de... Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Ah, actividades extra. Eso que aparecen ahí de uno a uno de Production Line y eso eh, son las dos que agregaron sus compañeros en la actividad que hicimos. Pero de ahí las demás, miren, tenemos una Reading Practice que nadie me ha colaborado ahí en participar. Production Testing Strategies, tampoco. El Running a SWOT Analysis, tampoco, jóvenes. Nadie puso nada acerca de lo que hicieron en su actividad en, en el... Um, en el breakout room y luego pues tenemos videos en donde ustedes pudieron haber visto pero la idea era que en este pues en el primero que escribieran las oraciones en el presente perfecto que escucharan en ese video o sea, ustedes en su respuesta van a escribir las oraciones en presente perfecto que ustedes lograron detectar ¿verdad? o sea que actividades hay bastantes Ahí ustedes para que ustedes practiquen, ¿sí? Bien. Okay. See you tomorrow. Ah, oh, no. See you Monday. Have a great weekend. Do your homework, please. Please submit your homework. All of unit three. And we start unit four on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, you. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 B